Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been the longest six months or so of not doing a YouTube video and there's just a lot that's been going on. So I am currently moving right now, that's why you see this whole mess here and then I take off. I have this going on and then just a lot. This is just a mess today and I will be moving in a couple days. And so, yeah. So I will be answering some questions that you guys have sent to me through either Facebook or Instagram. And while I'm cleaning, I will be answering those questions and all that, so. I really don't wanna move, but I feel like, well, hold on. <laughs> this is not focused, hold on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Got it. I really don't wanna move but I feel like I need a fresh start. So that's what we're doing here and it's okay to have a fresh start. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. Okay, the first question is, what do you want your nieces and nephews to call you? So right now I have a sister-in-law and she's Pregos and she looks super cute. Um, and she's gonna have a baby girl. There's not a lot of girls in the family, so we're super excited. Um, but I think, I don't know, I just, I don't know, maybe Tia, Mutita? Like, I don't know, I think Tita would be cute. Um, yeah, I don't know, something in Spanish, like English, like aunt, like, sounds a little weird. But I feel like Tita would be cute, like Tita, Lisette, maybe, so cute, yeah. So I think Tita would be a good one. How many times can I say that word? So. Oh, hi. Another question that I got was, let's see what other question I got. Uh, what have you learned throughout your YouTube break? So, as you guys know, I've been gone for like around six months, I'd say, give or take, and I feel like within these six months, I've learned how to love myself more and how to be more independent. These six months were were brutal, especially with school and classes that I don't like. And it was just a very hard growing moment. And there were moments where I felt like I wasn't advancing in my life and I just felt super stressed and anxious. And so I've learned to, within these six months, like to how to kind of detect that and how to ask for help because <laughs> let me tell you I suck at asking for help and it's just one of those things that I'm like oh no I can do it you know like <laughs> I can do it like I don't need anyone to help me or I don't need anyone to you know instruct me on how to do something but I've realized you know I need help and that's totally okay and so within these six months I've learned to like love myself um, that I'm gonna suck at things, I'm gonna fail at things, but it's not a bad thing because then like I could try again or ask for help. I mean, I'm still learning, like it's still a process, but I think that's one of the bigger things that I've learned. Ugh, I keep hitting my my light. Ugh, okay, that's why it's so much. So I just finished organizing all the stuff and I'll be moving in a couple days. So I just wanted to get that ready so I'm not stressed like the last two days or day before I move out. Um, so I'm gonna keep answering the questions that you guys have sent me. And the next question is, what is your favorite movie? I can hear my boyfriend laughing at me right now and he knows I suck at like watching movies let alone remembering exactly like what the movie is and what it's about and so i this is i guess this is my go-to answer every time someone asks me this it's probably nacho libre it's just such a funny movie and i remember the first time watching it i literally peed my pants like it was so funny to me especially with the poopies part if you guys know what i'm talking about if you have not seen it please go watch it and then come back and you'll get the reference but that movie is so funny and I think it's just so lighthearted. I hate scary movies. I don't like those at all. My boyfriend loves them. He, yeah, no, we, we don't go for those. The next question is, what's been the best memory so far this year? Sending, hum, hello, <laughs> 
sending hugs from Chicago. Thank you. I love you. I'm sending you hugs too if you know who you are. Um, I think the best memory so far, geez, like I'm just trying to get rid of all the negative memories. Um, I think the best memory this year was... I'm just gonna take a minute. Um, what's my best memory? You guys, I'm just sitting here trying to edit this video. <laughs> And I can't think of what good memory, what is wrong with me. Okay, I think I'm all sentimental because I'm moving out of my first apartment here, like not being close to home. And so I'm just thinking about all the times that like my roommates were actually here before COVID hit and we would all like eat together or we would watch movies together or cook together. And I think that gets me extra emotional and I think that's one of those memories that I will cherish forever. And is one of the best memories that I would say I have for this year. Um, yeah, it was just super fun and I really miss that, especially when COVID hit, like two of my roommates like moved out or they weren't here as often. And so things were a little different. It was a little, a little more empty here in um, where I live. And so, yeah, I'd have to say it's that one. <laughs> Next question says, oh, this one's in Spanish. It says, Sabías que hay gente en México que paga por las fotos de pies de mujer? Yes. Yes, I I I do know that. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. All right. Um. Ooh, this next question is a juicy one. Okay. It says, are you still with your boyfriend? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. He is literally the best. And we are still together. I mean, we have gone through a lot of stuff together, like a lot, but we are still together. And I'm super happy about it. I hope he's super happy about it. If he's not, we probably need to have a talk about that. But so far, so good. Like, we're still together. It's almost gonna actually on august 30th it's going to be a year i don't even know when i'm going to post this video not gonna lie but if it's like past august 30th so sorry but august 30th it's going to be a year of us being together and it went by so fast so yeah i'm still with my boyfriend next question what's your favorite thing about shy town everything like i love the culture i think one of the biggest things is the culture like there's a lot of diversity. There's a lot of people doing their own thing, their own foods. I just love that because then you have the opportunity to learn. And also like the murals of like different ethnicities is like so cute, so good. So I'd have to say the diversity, but close to that would be the lake and the beautiful views of the city. Like I'm a city girl. I can do like, I can do suburbs. I can, well, I'm, not, I'm I live in a suburb, but I could do like farm kind of thing, but only for like a week or vacation. But I cannot like live on a farm for the rest of my life. I can't do that. Sorry, country boys. Um, yeah, so I'd have to say the skyscrapers, the lake, and the diversity. But diversity is a really big one because here where I live in Utah, like I think that's what I miss. I feel kind of left out because I am Latina and. You just see a lot of Caucasian people and you kind of whenever I see another Latina or Latino or Latinx person like I get so happy because I'm like oh my gosh I'm not the only one like I I'm not a weirdo you know the next question is would you start a business if so what would it be if I were to start a business it would probably be something close to like fashion if that's a, yeah yeah i think it would be fashion i think it'd be like cute modest tops and pants and skirts because i remember when i went on my mission 
it was so hard for me to go shopping because I mean we had to buy modest clothing you know that had sleeves or that was like a skirt that's long enough and not not too much cleavage or especially like I would always find shirts that were like super cute in the front and I'm like oh my gosh I'm gonna buy this and I turn to the back and there's just like one big hole and I'm like someone just ruined their shirts someone called 911 this is an emergency like this was a perfect shirt and then it just has a hole in the back but so I think I would start a clothing line that's modest but it's not like weird because I'm not I'm not into flowers I'm sorry to my subscribers and followers if you like flower dresses I'm not a flower girl like I can't buy anything with flowers on it that has like a lot of detail like I just can't do that like I can't wear that so I think I would start that clothing line that's modest and has like cute pieces that you can layer and something that's not too thick either um I hate sleeves that are just like cup sleeves like this too like something like super cute trendy and modest that would be my business idea if you guys would want me to start this business comment down below maybe I will like I could talk with someone and we can work it out yeah so that was the last question if my eyes are watery I just coughed before this video started it was really bad I don't have COVID um yeah so thank you so much for watching this video um if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and I can't wait to make another video and talk to you guys again thank you so much so I thought this was going to be the end of this video <laughs> But y'all are in for a treat. Okay, you guys. So it's still the same day that I recorded this video that you're watching. And this happened. I will be showing some graphic pictures in the next couple seconds. So if you're not comfortable, please skip or just stop watching the video. But I did get stitches here because the glass fixture here in my apartment, right here, um, I accidentally skid by it with my um, ring light and it fell on me and cut me open. So, welcome back. Um, so the funny thing is that this is not the first time that fixtures in this apartment that I'm living at fall um this is actually the third time and a lot of people had told me to sue this place but here's here's the dealio as you can see I'm still wearing the same shirt I actually didn't get any blood on it <laughs> but um so the first time was they actually there used to be carpet in this apartment and so I don't want to make this video too long because there's a lot to talk about, like a lot. So just stay tuned for part one and part two of this hot mess that happened to my face. So get ready, click the dingers or whatever, but stay tuned.